What's going on? What's going on today, fool? What's up, boat? <laughs> Moving on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? How, how you? What do you want me to call you? Cam, SRT Cam. What? what uh, you can just call me Cam. That's just that's just the name I put to uh, join. But like, should I set my camera up though? Like, should I cut mine on? You can't. You can do whatever you want. For real? I don't turn mine on because mine. Over- hey, hey, you told him I was looking for the uh the the the, the A seven three I. We can tell him. We can tell him though, because I I be screenshotting our. Conversation to put on, put on the story. Hey, bro, bro, I was looking for the A73 at four thousand dollars. Man, like so for camera people, bro. So like, off rip. Most cameras, like the good, good, good cameras, are over a couple thousand dollars. But it was just, it was too funny when you were trying to tell me that you were looking for an A73 for like six hundred. No way that's happening. Yes, bro. Like, <laughs> why? That's just how it is. Like, okay, put it this way. If you buy a camera body, right? Uh-huh. You want it to one make money, two is gonna be good quality, and you gotta take pictures and video with it. Mm-hmm. it costs a lot of money just to make that, and also make it durable so you can continue to use it for a long time. Plus, it's also branding. It's Sony. Sony's one of the top camera brands. You feel me? Yeah. Sony's like the Nike of cameras. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like they're gonna make it high regardless. Oh, but hey, look, hey, I ain't know none of that when I was uh when I was first jumping in. Feel me? Well, hold on, real talk, because like I I know you already hit me for the uh, you know, all your YouTube pages and stuff. Yeah. Like, how what really got you into just like starting your social media? In like general? as far as like YouTube? Yeah, no, 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 no like everything. Because I, I mean, mean, you were doing like funny reels and stuff like that. All right, so look, the first thing, like, growing up at first, it was um the first thing that really popped my Instagram off. I don't know if it's still up there, but me and, me and uh, my brother, Kalen, when he was uh, the number one running back in the nation, Sports Center, ESPN, and all of them had accidentally tagged me instead of tagging him, and I gained, like, 9,000 followers off that. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, like, when he – um it was a play he made versus um, Virginia Tech. And he touched the ball one time, and I think he like made like Sports Center top ten. I think he was like the sixth player, the fifth player, something like that. And instead of putting I am four K Vert, that's that was Kalen was I am four K Vert, and my Instagram was just I am underscore four K. They tagged <laughs> my shit. I I am underscore four K. So I just did they ever know that that was a mistake? I, I, they ain't never changed it, so I, it might still be the same. Was that me? was that when he was back at FSU or at Marshall? Uh, FSU. Okay. Yeah, that's but, but hold on, but you be on freaking is it sports center that you on now? You just be on highlight pages. Oh yeah, ESPN. Sometimes we play on um we played on ABC Sports Network one time. But right now it's um ESPN and uh ESPN plus. Okay. Right now. Okay. Who's your like hardest opponent so far? Or who do you think is gonna be like your toughest game? Uh we already played our toughest game, which was App State. Oh, we played NDSU when uh what's the name? Colorado and um yeah. Colorado didn't play. We almost beat them, but ball ain't roll our way. <laughs> we was up the whole game, though. We was up the whole game. What was what was playing against App State like? Because I know, uh, you know, Dexter Jr., Dexter Lawson Jr. Uh, from the first year that I uh, our first fifty three, that Dexter Lawson, he was he was at App State. He oh, was- yeah, yeah, number five, number five, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, the, yeah, he not up there no more. I mean, yeah, he in the CFL. Yeah, I think he's in the CFL. Yeah, yeah Hamilton Tiger Cats, I believe. Yeah, I think he in the CFL, but um, but he was in he was in your brother's class. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, <laughs> nah, it was cool. It was great. It's just like it was. It was like first game of the season. I feel like we could have won if like we hit a lot more uh deep passes. Like if we had hit like at least two out of like four, five of those deep passes, we'd have been in the game. But mm-hmm. we hit them. Let's, let's let's get down to like the roots. You feel me? That's like a, that's a me thing. I gotta know where certain things started from. How was it born? I know your last name's LeBorn, but how did you get into football? Uh, when me and um Kaylin or me and my brother who was young, we had an older brother that really started us on um football for real. He um I remember I was a kid. And I was just sitting on the couch one day, and he was um, – he had that uh, NFL game playing on TV. And uh, I don't remember the game, 
But I was looking, I was like, dang, that's tough. Like, I was just telling him, like, that's cool, all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then he was like, yeah, um, you could be playing up there. And then me and Kaylin looking at him crazy, like, huh? And then he like, yeah, all you got to do is work. And he just saying it like it's easier, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we kids at this point. So it really started right there. And then ever since then, we just been working out. Like, I remember, like, we had just, um, I remember I'm, like, four years old, I remember I used to just be running around the neighborhood, um, uh, had 20 pound anchor weights on. I used to be walking, um, like I'm, I'm four years old, five years old. I'm walking a big pit bull with a big chain. He used to have me walking dog. All that. That's it. Was, that, mm-hmm. Like it started, it really started from there and then running light pole to light pole every night, like just running, having fun. You know what I'm saying? So you were, you was outside. I was an outside kid too. Yeah, outside, outside kid. Wait, wait. Yeah. The, the generator. You know the green generator. Yeah, I used to cut backflips off the green generator. Oh no, you I probably would go do one right now if we was recording live. I will break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to do crazy stuff like that. I still do it to this day. So obviously, growing up with Kalen, like most people know that he's pretty fast. Bro, is a freak of nature. Yeah. I know that he likes Dragon Ball Z, though. So yeah, I know he's like low key a huge anime fan. Did yeah, you get into any of that at all? Um, Dragon Ball Z. I actually like um Dragon Ball Z. I fought with Dragon Ball Z, but um, just as much as Kalen does, though. Kalen and Kalen be screaming like a Super Saiyan mid <laughs> mid workout, like <laughs> uh, not that much, but like I actually like watch it, watch it. Like I like Dragon Ball Z, but Kalen, to be honest. He more he like he liked Dragon Ball Z, but I feel like he more of a Naruto type guy. Ain't no way. I, I was too when I was growing up. Right, the car. Yeah, like, he was on Naruto bad. Like I ain't really like Naruto. I just didn't really like. I couldn't really just watch the storyline. Dragon Ball Z that bit turned, so I could like. Watch See, I, it. Didn't, I I like watch Naruto a little bit. I was, yeah. I played the games. Had the cars. Dragon Ball Z. I, yeah. I like the, I like the fights from time to time too. Like the Naruto Sasuke, like because they was best friends growing up, and then they end up. You know what I'm saying? Being arch enemies, like the worst I enemies. It's crazy. I don't know because I, I have I don't know the storyline. I don't know if it was over a girl or not. Yeah, I don't fully know it either. I don't fully know it either. But I just know that's the main one of the main fights, main storylines. You know what I'm saying? I know for Kalen, you know Dragon Ball Z, Loki is thing. He be posting mm-hmm. that same Vegeta yeah. in the chamber. Is it is it Vegeta in the chamber? You know what I'm talking and, about? Uh, hyperbolic time chamber. Time chamber. Yeah, uh-huh. was, I think that was right before they was finna go fight um Cell and then, like Cell, yeah. the Cell uh, saga, Cell games, something like that. So that's his thing. So I know Cars is your thing. How did you yeah. get into Cars though? How did uh-huh. you? Yeah. Um, you look, I don't know, cause like, look, I was a kid, right? And um, Kalen and my oldest brother, the one that started us on football for real, they always used to be on the game, the video game. And I ain't never had no video game in there. I ain't really never cared. I, I cared, but I didn't care. Like, I guess I wasn't old enough to have my own game and on TV and all that. So every time we, I went to the store with my grandma, I just used to have her buy me, like, two or three Hot Wheels cards every time until they got filled up with, like, trash bags. It used to be, like, Three, four trash bags of Hot Wheels cars. It's probably in her shed right now, but I used to take um I used to take That's a lot of cars, bro. I know. I used to take like um boxes, like uh say like um cereal boxes and stuff, and I used to make racetracks like all that hard. Yeah, and tape them together and make racetracks. And I just used to play by myself all the time. That's hard. So yeah. did you have any actual racetracks, you know, like the you know, the orange things that you were like? Um eventually, like I probably got like one or two on Christmas, but before that, it was just all um cereal boxes, uh, uh, um, honey bun boxes, all that, like those type boxes, and made them racetracks. That's crazy. How how would you do it though? Like, what was the process? You just like cut them up and fold it and stuff. Yeah, put tape on it. Yeah, my grandma used to watch me do it the whole time. Like, I'd be bored. Like, they'd be playing the game, and it's like I'd be done playing outside, done running and all that. I'm like, man, like, I ain't had nothing else to do, so. I just put like, all right, so you know how the honey bunny, the honey bun box is like more like thinner yeah. and uh, slimmer. So I used to put them like at the end, like start them, like, you know what I'm saying, side by side. And then I put like, I cut the cereal boxes and like open them a little bit, but I put them like kind of like a um, like a slide going down. And then I just start from there every time. I would be still, because <laughs> uh, I grew up in Maryland, right? Wait, yeah. where did y'all grow up? Uh, 
everywhere, but mainly, hey. <laughs> mainly yeah. Shelby, North Carolina, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, and Virginia Beach, mm-hmm. and a little bit of um Florida growing up. So never Maryland, but Virginia. Yeah, nah, not 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 really Maryland. Maryland, that was a little further. Okay, because like when I was growing up, we you know like we outside kids, you doing whatever, you making up fake games and anything, right? Yeah. So we had like Hot Wheels and the little the tech decks, I think. Oh and yeah, the tech decks, the skateboards. Or so we had we would take like huge cardboard, like you know long pieces of yeah. cardboard, be in the garage just like letting them like racing them and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, ah, yeah, nah, them tech decks was crazy too. I ain't gonna lie. I used to like tech decks. Like when the tech decks first came out, they was popping like crazy. Like I still, crazy. I got, I got sausage fingers kind of, so I can't do the flip. I gotta like press it real hard. Yeah, nah, <laughs> hey, I remember going to school and the, um, the teachers kept trying to take my uh, tech decks, bro. They used to try to take everything, my tech deck cards. So you were playing in the class. You would, you would be playing in the class. What I'm doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, that no. was annoying though. Know. So first it was Hot Wheels, uh-huh. and then it just went straight to actual cars. And you, you just, how did you know? You like, how did you get into it? All right, so look, bro, <clears throat> this is crazy. You remember the PS Vita, right? Yeah. All right, so boom, I, it was cars, and then after I'm playing with cars, I remember um, my oldest brother. He had brought somebody, um, he had brought one of his homeboys over and sold uh, my grandma a PSP. For like a low price, but and the games wouldn't work in it. What's so I was buying a PSP for. For me, uh, okay. I was about to say, I was, I was like, hold up, he sold, it, he sold it to me, but my grandma bought it because I really wanted it. I ain't had no game, I ain't had no TV. Everybody, Kaylin playing the game system, my other brother playing. Okay. So I guess they got it for me so I could play the game. You know what I'm saying? And um, the it, it, the first PSP didn't work. So I was like upset, like I was crying like almost every day just because I was so mad. I wanted it to work and it didn't work. So she ended up buying me a real one from GameStop. And then um the first game I got, I said I had to get a card game. I ain't even get a football game. I ain't like I like because I wanted to get a football game and create my um player up there because that was my thing. I always had to create road to glory or create a player, you know what I'm saying? What game was this? What game did you get? It was like uh what was it? It was the first racing game. I can't think of. I probably uh, I probably could um find it if I really search it up. But Gran Turismo, huh? Gran Turismo. I don't know. It might have been Forza. Huh? Forza. Nah, I don't think they had Forza back then. It might have been, but I don't, I can't really like pinpoint what, what it. Like describe it, and I might know because I, right, I so look like you race. Like you start off with like a weak car, but it's like it's what <laughs> cars you can choose from. <laughs> So then, like you race, get you get like money, make it faster and all that. But I remember I had played so much, I had bought like the best car, and it was like so much money. But I still had a lot of money left over. Yeah. That's all I did was play that. You know what I'm saying? So then after that, um, you'll be able to buy the uh, best car. But you, but it's like it's still hard. Like you still gotta race and still win races, and you know what I'm saying to like stay on top and all that. So was it was it an actual like? Cause you on a PSP, right? Yeah. So you're racing, but was it, it? It wasn't like a drag race. Um, nah, it was like uh, actual track. Hmm. It was it asphalt? Maybe. Oh, bro, it might be asphalt. It might be, bro. It might be asphalt. Did it was on the PS Vita, bro. Huh? Did you did you have like a nitro option? Yeah, it was asphalt on nice. PS Vita. Yeah, asphalt. Nah, that's crazy. I think it was asphalt on bro. Mm-hmm. And they I, had this uh, Lamborghini. It was a I had it on my iPad. I was, I was going crazy. Man, what? It might have been asphalt. I ain't going to lie. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. Boy, I played it all through uh, like high school. Because like, yeah. the high school that I went to, we we were done with school around like 12. Because then after that, you go to practice, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes if there was like rain or lightning delays, we just be inside of like the gym pretty much. So everybody got their school iPad. Mm-hmm. We all we like load them up. We like you can get eight players, so it's eight of us on our little iPads. That shit was live though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of the liveest racing games I had. Like Forza and all that tough, but I don't know that that, that game just hit. Asphalt, asphalt was like that. Yeah, asphalt was hard. Asphalt was like because you know you already know from like all the car parts and stuff that you have, you yeah. know how much horsepower your car is. Oh, um, bro, you know all that stuff. So yeah, I, I can see. It's like right before you get to the finish line. It's like a movie. It's like a, a Fast and the Furious. So right to you, right before you get to the finish line, you hit Nitro, and then it's like it's whoever car faster at this point. Especially if y'all neck and neck. 
I remember that like yesterday. Bro, it was annoying because I because like you know if you don't have the right like HP or XP or whatever, you could just fall behind the race just like that. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> I remember like at one point in time I was like I want to say like top twenty in the world. And then I end up getting Need for Speed on PSP. I think it was a Need for Speed game and where you could have multiple cars, garages, and, and all that type stuff. But I was, like, top five in the world. Like, I used to play that every day. Yeah, like, I was nice. Like I need I need someone to verify this. Because, look, I'm racing. I probably could call somebody on my phone. Listen, I'm racing, like, every day to keep my spot, bro. Like, I'm doing, I'm going crazy. Yeah, like, no, you might have to. <laughs> No. <laughs> look, I'm racing like every day, bro. Like when I say every day, I held that until like I, I want to say I held that for like some months, probably to like summertime, bro. Because it's like I got it when the first when the game first came out, and I just played it every day, like every day, bro. I'm going crazy now. Nah, it's like I don't know how I'm like, I, like, bro. Look, this is how you know I ain't capping on my. Yeah, PS- I did see some. Look on my PS Vita, bro. Mm-hmm. On my PS Vita, I had like a charger. Um, what's it called? Like when it won't charge because it's like a piece inside the um, it's like something was burnt in there or something. But I used to always have it on the top. Like I'm on it like every day, bro. Oh, okay. like, yeah. I was OD on my PS Vita, crazy, bro. Like, it's like yeah, yeah. I, used, I used to be playing that game like crazy. And I want to say this was probably like might have been like fifth grade, sixth grade, maybe seventh grade around that time, four, fifth, six, maybe seventh around that time. But I was going crazy on that game, bro. I don't know why I was going so crazy, bro. Like, so it went from Hot Wheels to games. Mm-hmm. What came next? And then after that, it was um. After that, it was the Need for Speed game. After the Need for Speed game, GTA. After GTA, oh, nah. <laughs> that's good. that's good. you cut into more cars. Yeah, listen, yeah, I can see it. And nah, I was going crazy on GTA too. Like everybody, you, every you can ask anybody. I had the most money out of everybody every time. Like I had to get these cars in real life. Like that's probably why I don't play. Like I'm working to get these cars in real life as we speak. I see. Um, Cuh. Was, every, was you hacking anything? Like were you doing any money hacks or whatever? Uh, I mean, I did a money glitch when it first came oh. out. Like they, they don't know about this. Like when you could uh, get the car, fix the car. It was a Mustang at the time that that did the most money. Not the. Uh, because the Bugatti didn't have many upgrades. Oh. But Mustang, I fixed it up. It'd be like seven hundred sixty-two thousand. You could sell it for. Dang! I, yeah, look, I sell it, and then after you sell it, and the screen turn black, you cut your game off, and they cut it back on, and you got the money in the car. <laughs> but you can't put it in your bank. If you put it in your bank, they gon' they they take it from you whenever they um whenever they catch it or they do the update or whatever. You just give a free game hack, they, they <laughs> but it, it, that's patch. It's patched now, so it's like they can't do it anymore. It's probably some new ones, but you gotta like go. On How did they update it? How the heck did they do that? I don't know. It's just one day we hopped on and everybody called me. It was like, you see what happened? Like, bro, I don't have no money. I said, did you put it in the bank? It was like, yeah. And I was like, that's what you get. You a dumbass. I told you not to do it because, like, you know, if you have it in your hand, you will lose like ten thousand or twenty thousand or fifty thousand every time somebody kill you if the money in your hand because they could take it from you they could send a bounty mm-hmm. on you or whatever and they take yeah, yeah. they take damn near all the cash you got in your hand but I'd rather that happen than GTA I mean the, the actual Rockstar game services take it from me you know what I'm saying but like I was going crazy like every time a new update came out and you know how you gotta pay for the setups to do the heist I was the one who's paying for all the setups and all that just so we could start the heist and I still have hella money left over like I just I was just going crazy up there. Ain't gonna lie. Like if I if I would have streamed GTA, like Why don't you do that now. Why don't you stream? Because you be you do YouTube, obviously. You yeah, because I don't I don't really be on I don't really be on the game like that no more. But if I would have streamed it back then, like growing up, like playing 2K and uh GTA, I probably would have blew up off of that. Like one of my 2K plays was on 2K TV too. Like 2K15 or 2K16, it was one of them. Everybody sent one of my plays to uh everybody just kept spamming it. All my friends, all my peoples and stuff kept spamming it to Ronnie 2K. It was like a crazy oh. play. I was playing against my older brother. I had caught the ball like from the full court. Brother? Yeah, my oldest one. My oldest was the one that started, got us on football. He was on 2K. I remember like every time I played against him, I had to go hard. I had to beat him or I had to at least, you know what I'm saying? Every time. That's just how I felt. I was in like seventh grade. But look, full court, like he passed the ball to me. I mean, they passed the ball to me on the other side of the court. I caught it, turned around, hit a green, and won the game in the rec center. Everybody know how hard it was to play in the rec center. It was easier than the park back then, you know what I'm saying? But nah, yeah, I probably would have been blue up if I started streaming and all that. Hey, so I I had never, uh, so I had a system, right? My yeah. first system ever, uh-huh. actually a PlayStation Two. I had a PlayStation Two. Mm-hmm. Then 
I got a PS3 from one of my little brother's coaches, my younger brother's coaches. I won't call him little. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six, what? Six, six? Younger brother? What the frick, bro? He said six, six, younger brother. No. I, like, I, I will never forget how my doctor was like, oh, you're going to be tall someday. I'm like, for real? No. Yeah. I just had knee problems. He yeah. said I just had knee problems. <laughs> <laughs> my, I had a PS3 from one of my younger brother's coaches, and then my best friend from college gave me an Xbox. Mm. So after all of that, I still, oh, he did. We did play GTA. That first time I played GTA was in college, but I didn't understand the game because I just, I did not know the lore of the game, nothing, you know? So I'm yeah. just trying to do the actual quest, how like a regular NPC would. I don't know how you can just free, just do it. You know, I'm, I'm not doing that how people do it. You know I don't even think I beat the game. I just went straight to online because I seen my older brother playing it, and then I seen him beat the game. And I'm like, bro, I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like doing all that. So I just started online, and I'm like, dang, I'm broke. So, like, every day I just used to grind playing on GTA. And then and then my oldest brother, he was like, it's a money glitch. But he ain't used to play it as much as me because I'm a kid. Of course, he, you know what I'm saying, going to work, doing all that. So he showed me the money glitch. After he showed me the money glitch, I'm probably one. I'm probably the reason that the money glitch got patched. I'm doing it every day, at least ten times a day. So seven hundred. Nah, they probably you. They finna ban you from getting GTA. Listen, listen. <laughs> seven hundred sixty-two thousand ten times for like twenty days straight. We might not. I be still got the money up there. If I buy something on GTA right now, my money, the, the first three numbers barely move. They probably don't even move. I ain't gonna lie. Like I like it was to the point where I went on the website, the the boat website, bought every boat. Went on the airplane website, bought every airplane. Went on the car website, bought it. Like, and this is before you could have multiple houses, cause like that. I'm a real OG GTA head. You feel me? Bro, but now you can I, have don't know, I don't even know how the game works. I don't know how to like. I don't know what you could buy. I'm yeah, here like to second level, and I can't. <laughs> yeah, like all right. So you could buy like um, just to have it, buy, huh? Just to have it. What houses and stuff? It's just stuff. I don't yeah, know. How it works. Yeah, like you can buy houses, cars, it's damn near like real life. Like it was my favorite game because it's like it was what I was going to be growing up in real life. Like besides the shooting and killing uh, and all that, like I'm going to get the cars. Like I remember I used to watch Floyd Mayweather Heavy. Like back then when I was in seventh grade, everybody used to laugh because I always had a suit on. But I always had the most money. You know what I'm saying? And I did that because mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather always have a suit on. But I've been got out of that phase. But I still, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just that. That's just one of my main. Like GTA was the biggest. Like I don't know, bro. Like that was my. After GTA, that's when the real cars came. That's when real cars. That's a what? What did you get? Like what was the first car? Uh, the first car I had like a um a white two thousand nine Mercedes Benz. I want to say from my uncle. Okay. But it was all white. It had um. Shout out to aunt. Tinted windows. Hey, um, hold on. I think, I think I haven't seen it before. Oh, the, oh, the white bands? Yeah. yeah. I got pictures of it. I think I definitely have. They, it wasn't Kalen that wasn't whipping in that. Nah, Kalen wasn't whipping in that. I mean, he used to drive it until I started driving it. And then when I started driving it, that's when he stopped driving it for real. If you could, if you could like right now, have your own, I know you have your car, but I'm saying yeah. if you could get like a dream car. What is the dream car? Lamborghini. And it's, it's like, give me all the details though. I it's a um it okay the first one would have to be a um I think it's called a a, a Lamborghini Huracan that's the first one the second one would have to be a Lamborghini Aventador but I don't know I really like the Huracan that's crazy and then, it, and then it's one that I seen little baby had I don't know if it's called a Lamborghini Huracan Evo or a Hurricane Evo Spider one of them but them. Them shit's nasty, bro. Like, see that you a, you a limo dude. I'm a. And then I like the SVJ too. A what? It's called. I think it's like an SVJ Lamborghini SVJ. So you you a Lamborghini person? I'm yeah. A Ferrari kind of guy. Low yeah. I mean, I like Ferraris too. Like, I, is it ain't it like a Ferrari uh Spider or some something like that? No, there's a there's a handful of them. It's a yeah. Spider, La Ferrari. They got. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying. Yeah. To yes. I and then, and then that's another thing like. This how crazy I was about cars. Like on GTA, you know how they had like different names for the cars. They went had the actual names for the cars. Oh, they had them look similar. They had them look similar. 
Oh, I do know actually what you're saying. Yeah, it's like, like pretty the cool. Bataya looks similar, but they'll call it like a, um something yeah. else. They'll call it something else. But I used to look up on YouTube or I used to look up online what the actual car is so I could know what car I'm driving. And then on the game, I'd be like, yeah, I'm driving the uh, Bugatti Chiron or the Bugatti yeah. Chiron. They'd be like, hey, I'm I'm yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I, so that's what I, mean. already, I had that on GTA. I never even thought about it like like that. I, I yeah. didn't think about it like that. People, I get it now. That's crazy. Yeah. I never like I had the Rolls Royce on GTA, the Rolls Royce Ghost. I had the Bentley Bentayga. I had the Lamborghini uh, Aventador. I think it was called the Zentorno. I had the um, I had the. Uh, I mean, every car possible. Yeah, I had the Rolls Royce Cullinan truck. All that. Dang. Oh. Um, I was really living like that up there. So don't, like that up there. don't don't give them the sauce. Okay, <laughs> don't give them the sauce. You know where I'm going next. Yeah. But how did you get into YouTube? Because it's just it's already funny enough to know you, to watch you make a play, be posted on Instagram, <laughs> and then just see you on YouTube right after that. Yeah. Um, how did you get to YouTube? Cause all right, so look, cause I've been thinking about it, but I ain't never really cared too much to really start it because I got a lot of other stuff that I can really like uh, do to make money. But like watching other YouTubers and stuff, it seemed fun doing it. So I'm like, yeah, I might start that one day. But then I'm uh I was at a gas station getting gas and and one of the um one of the young boys well, uh, he my uh, editor and uh cameraman and all that now like he'll make videos for me you know what I'm saying if I need any videos or if I make some 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 videos or content I send it to him he edited it send it back that's how I have so many like thumbnails and edit videos that I mean they see they 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 can see the uh, link I tell them like after the video and all that. But I ran into him at the gas station. He was telling me, bro, he was like, uh, he said, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you should start a YouTube, bro. I'm looking at him crazy. I'm like, huh? I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, he, he like, bro, I can edit. I know how to build computers, did it. Like, he just talking fast. Like, his mind racing like a thousand miles per minute. That be me, bro. And yeah. I, I hate that I get like that. Yeah. But I can't help it. Like, that's when you know, you know something well. Yeah. You just keep going on about it. Bro, I, like, I understand how we're at. I ain't gonna lie, I thought he was crazy at first, bro. Because <laughs> I'm like, bro, you don't even know me, bro. He's like, <laughs> he's like you, you tweaking, bro. Yeah, um, bro, I'm like, yeah. Bro. Uh, like, he following me outside and everything, bro. I'm oh, like, you didn't know him. He, you just met, oh, you didn't know him. This before I know him. Oh, okay. That's why I fuck with him. Oh, I got it. And he's like, he took the risk. Like, I could have been like, bro, chill, you tripping there, there, there. Like, he, he took that risk, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. So he really just saw you. He was like, I know to do that. Let's yeah. And then I didn't even start at that time. I had left. I had came back, and he was working there still. And then he was like, bro, like, he only 16. So he was like, bro, look, bro, like, I know you don't think um, I gave you my number. I've been waiting on you. Call me. Da, da, da. He was like, bro, look, check this out, bro. He was like, look. He was like, uh, he showed me his YouTube that he got took, that he had 23,000. He said, bro, I already know how to do this, bro. And with you, you could do it way easier, bro. Like, trust me. Like, I know how to blow up all this. Da, da, da. And then he was like, look, bro, if we don't blow up within two weeks, you don't ever got to talk to me again. I said, all right, bruh. So, so we started that day, and then three days later, one of the gas station videos, the real shorts, that thing was going crazy. Like I went Atlanta? to Atlanta. Yeah, I went to sleep, woke up, it was at 150,000. I said, dang. <laughs> but like, I mean, I've been having a lot of people tell me because it's like I've been doing like blowing up kind of like this ever since I was a um kid. Like, even with football, like I remember I made a crazy spin move when I was a kid. And then I remember when I was young, I probably got to find a video. But you remember that hard work, dedication, Floyd Mayweather used to say back then? I was like nine years old. Yeah. I, right. my, my older brother had me working out. I was doing push-ups. I said hard work, dedication. Mm-hmm. And then it cut, it cut to the next clip of me running on the treadmill. I'm running fast. I said hard work, dedication. And then it cut to me doing sit-ups. And I said hard work, dedication. And Floyd Mayweather had got there and reposted it one time. And then everybody, yeah. When I was a kid, like nine. That's crazy. Yeah. You think he still remember you? He probably has to. Uh, he done did so. He done posted so many. He might. He might not. But he done reposted and posted so many. But I was like, I remember I had a little tank top on. I had a uh, some Nike shit. Like I remember I was a kid, bro. I was just, yeah. I was doing what my brother said. Like I was just. Yeah. Like, that's, him. that's him. That's Mayweather. Like, yeah. yeah. And then and it's like I was amazed by it when I was a kid. But at the same time, I was like, damn, like is it that easy? But it really wasn't easy. But I'm a kid. And I'm thinking like it just. Happen like that, you know what I'm saying? But 
Bro, I had a I have my, <laughs> you sent me back for a second because there's there's this there's this clip of me, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't even know if it's still existent, right? Um, but there were so many things that I predicted as a kid that I'm mad that I didn't like push for it harder back then. Like what? Because you know when like Vine was still around? Vine, yeah. I'm yeah, so when I, I first got a phone in 2014. Yeah. So obviously you seen these certain videos, like, you know, like influencers. Yeah. Millions were not that huge on social media platforms at all around this time. Yeah. As a kid, when you get your first phone, first phone, like you doing everything possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so there was that was around the time that lady that was like, uh, oh the Lord Jesus, this is a fire. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. You, you, remember, you know that you know that one? Oh bro. I'm I'm gonna see the, the video after. Right. But I'm a kid, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna have my phone and I basically just repeat the entire thing. Yeah, to my phone. I just post it. It's literally on my Instagram as a kid. Yeah. My dad finds it. And this man was like, oh, this is so dumb. Like, what are you doing? Like, he's, bro, he blasted me for it. But I'm like, bro, I'm just, like, I'm a kid. Like, I don't, how does this do any harm to anything? I'm literally just saying the same thing she said, you know? Yeah. But now, years later, everybody's doing it. And you can get money off of it. That's why I'm, like, pissed. Like, bro, I was basically dang near doing it as a whole mistake. I could have been ahead of the game and I let this dude, you know what I'm saying, like get in my head. Yeah, be like that. Crazy. And so of course me being uh almost like a creative minded kid, I was a very visual thinker, right? Yeah. So um something that we did in like our neighborhood since we were outside kids when it's time to come inside, we don't want to stop playing. Yeah. When it's like the summer. So we living in a colder sack, right? Yeah. So usually we go down to someone's basement, we watch the same movie over and over and over, just have <laughs> laugh together. Barnyard was one of our movies that we was watching. Barnyard. Yeah. But, um I I started to pick up on like the certain movies that we were watching. Mm-hmm. I was like, how do they keep making new ideas? You know, like eventually aren't you gonna run out of ideas? You know, like how are you how are you about to make continuous movies? And keep them funny. Eventually, you're gonna run out of jokes. Like that's all I'm thinking as a kid. Mm-hmm. Then I remember I said, I put it on social media. I said one day they're gonna take the same cartoons that we watched and turn them into live action movies with the technology in the future. Mm-hmm. And that's when I start uh, Transformers, uh, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> they remade. And I'm like, yo, like what the like they just did that. Like, yeah. I just that's how I really started slowly seeping into movies because I was like. I feel like I can see things in movies more yeah. than regular people can. Yeah. Which I definitely know I can't. I can wait. Yeah. I'm probably the worst person to watch a movie with because after I'm going to talk your head off and let you know everything you didn't see. <laughs> you know? It's just yeah. like, man, I see it different anyway. You know? Yeah. But like, so what, what position are you actually? Uh, I'm a receiver, but they put me, they asked me if I wanted to go to running back. Like, so yeah. so I was like, yeah, I don't really care. It don't matter. Cool. So I know from a running back perspective, I've only been, been to one football practice ever, bro. Right? One. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I was I was doing soccer drills at a random field back yeah. around my neighborhood area in Maryland. There's yeah. a random coach that saw me. He ran up to me. He was like, Can we can we ask your son to do some drills? I'm like, go ahead, now I'll do it. So I'm doing the running back position, right? Uh huh. But I'm not. I'm not gonna call the kid like fat. It was a bigger kid, right in front of me on the. Uh, he said, "I'm not gonna call the kid fat." <laughs> well, you know, everybody's bodies are different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. I'm like a bigger kid, so he's in front of me on. The, what's it? That's the O line now, right? Because we got the yeah. ball. Yeah, O line. Yeah. Like, tell me, is it the X and Y, and it's like. Even numbers on one side. Uh, yeah, like some schools do it different. Like here, like the slot would be the F, but at my old school, Buffalo University of Buffalo, the slot was the H. So I guess you could say X, H, and then you could say Y for the out, other outside receiver. Because like all that stuff, I have no clue of. So yeah. and I just be throwing to who's ever open, who's the fastest. That's it. But yeah. on running back, they told me they were like, okay, these are the slots. So whatever we yell, you just listen for this. 
and yeah. then the slot, right? Yeah. So first, go through the drill. They yell two. I go through it. I just run. Right? Yeah. But the kid keeps getting in front of me because he's on the line. So yeah. I can run past him. Yeah. The coach tells me, yo, this is football. If somebody gets in your way, you run them over. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know. So yeah. I didn't want to hurt the kid, but he does it again. So I shove him, and he <laughs> fell flat on his face. And they were like, all right, practice over. <laughs> I'm about to practice over. Hey. It was fun. I didn't, I, it didn't have any padding or anything. Yeah. Y'all probably was just doing like summer workouts or something. That's all. Oh, that's literally all it was. Yeah. I just remember playing that position that, that one time. I was like, I could see myself doing this. Yeah. Like, nah. Never played. Nah. See, yeah. that, and that's how it be like. And the thing is, like, even with this, um, like playing football, like, that's just something as a kid, like, I don't want to say you got to be lucky, but it's just something you just got to stick to because it's like, if you really good and then you, and then say like you a kid growing up, you really good and then you stop playing it. When you get older, you're going to be like, damn, I should have kept playing football. Mm -hmm. Like, now it's like, ain't nothing wrong with working a job, but like, you ain't got your, say, you ain't never get your chance. You're starting to go to college, try to go to the NFL and all this. You just like, damn, I was good. I ain't never played. Or, you know what I'm saying? You might have been good and you just kept getting in trouble and you couldn't like stay on the field. But it's like, that's just one of them things that you don't see until after, you know what I'm saying, that 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 moment is over with. And then it's like a lot of individuals, it's like we don't get no redos. Like we can't like go back in time or nothing and change it. But a lot of people, I know they wish they would have focused on playing football more in high school or playing basketball, whatever the sport is, more in high school. So they could actually get that opportunity to try to go to the NBA or try to go to the NFL, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's even hard to make it to the next level, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I know that's just one thing that you just don't realize, like as a kid growing up. You know what I'm you saying? That's, that's, a lot, that's a lot to grasp as a kid, bro. Exactly. That's why it's like. That's why it's kind of like luck, but then it's kind of not because it's like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because like you keep playing it and you stick with it. You've been playing it since a kid and you stick with it and then you actually make it far and you keep going and then like you could like you know what I'm saying? You can like, like more, huh? You start to like understand what you're yeah you feel thinking. me yeah. but when you're a kid you're not really thinking about like you might think you might say like yeah i want to go to alabama i want to go to college this and all this but it's like you're not really like thinking about it as much as you would when you're in 11th or 12th grade and it's time to sign and then you back you know what i'm saying like you're not thinking about all that back then you know what i'm saying i got two things for you so i think one the first one was for other you know the youth like real talk the youth mm -hmm. People that are in your position, they have wide receiver, running back. Yeah. They either look up to you, know you, or like just in general, want to be where you're at or make it to the league. What advice do you have for people that grew up in your area that know you or just in general, like young kids that are low key, they're trying to make it out or they just love a game of football? What advice you got for them? Um, I tell them like uh, if they actually like got past the point, or I'm going to start with the kids that hasn't got to the point with the offers yet. The ones who ain't got to the point with the offers and you actually, like, good enough, like, make sure, like, you stay on your grades and keep trusting the process. You know what I'm saying? Like, just trust the process, like, all the way through. The kids who already got the offers, like, when you go to the school and it's like you feel like you're not having your way and you're not playing or you're not um, uh, getting as much playing time you feel like you need to get, just stick to it. Like, because it could come and then I ain't going to lie, it's like a, a – a, small percent chance that your time you might stick to it and you might not crash out you not, might not say nothing to the coaches and your time might not never come because it's like that's just how it works you know what i'm saying but just it, you'll have a better opportunity of playing more if you just keep doing everything right and you just stick to it you know what i'm saying and you don't just crash out and be like man i ain't playing anyway so i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna show up here on time just make sure you stick to it like the whole way through as far as like you know what i'm saying the high school athletes that's about to go to college the ones that's already in college if they didn't already like mess up they um their uh name or whatever just stick with it you just got to stick with it that's all you can do you know what i'm saying because it's crazy because i came into college as a receiver but i scored my first touchdown at running back but that's i crazy. but i have highlights at receiver and running back now so it's like oh you know, now you're a dual threat basically but it's like, I just never crashed out. I just stuck to it. You know what I'm saying? Good. Don't crash out. Don't yeah. crash out. The other thing was, because you were talking about sometimes people only have like one chance or one shot, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, I thought about Last Chance You. You, you watched that documentary? Uh, yeah, like I played on the t- I played the teams that was, that's on Last Chance You, and I played on the team that they was featuring on Last Chance You. What? Yeah, I came a year after they stopped the uh, shows and all that. Cause oh, I was gonna say, hold on, I was like, you don't hear the show? I'm like, what? But like when I first got to um, Garden City, last chance she was about to come back because we had all the top recruits. I remember me and Kaylin was there. You remember that was when Kaylin had to go there. Uh, the number two quarterback. What's huh? What school was this? Uh, Garden City. Garden City. Yeah, JUCO. That where Tyreek Hill went. Oh, that played against the team. Uh, nah, they was actually the star, but they look, they the camera people was there before I got there. So like right before um they was gonna come, they was gonna me, bro. I don't there's not a garden city huh? that says you hold up. Yeah, it's garden city on last chance you if you look at it. But look, um I forgot what season what, it is. What state? Huh? What state? Uh Kansas. I might be tricky. Hold on. But look, yeah, look it up. But um uh, um, I want to say, uh, like when I was there, the school didn't want the camera people there for some reason. I forgot what it was. Like the head coach, uh, Coach Minnie, he had turned down the um, because they were supposed to have another series or season or something like that, and he turned it down. I don't know why, but they was up there like the season before. You know what I'm saying? Like it was right after that one uh, coach got fired, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I see it. And then you you were on the team that played the the last chance you team. Yeah, Indy. Okay. Uh, Indy is the last issue. I'm over here thinking that the team that you was on had the whole documentary. I think I think it is, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, look up Garden City. It's like one season. I think they switch schools every season. I'm over, bro. If if I missed out on a season of West Chance, you you know how pissed off I'm about to be. <laughs> that was, bro. That was my show. Like, I I was literally about to tell you that. Like, yeah, me too. And uh, I was watching that too. Like way before I even met Cliff, yeah, the innovations like mm-hmm. uh, I was watching in high school, and so when I was watching it, you know, high school, of course, I was still an athlete, but mm-hmm. was you know, men that are athletes do a lot of push ups, yeah, but at night before bed, or like if I can't go to sleep or something, or I'm just angry in general, mm-hmm. I'm push ups and I'm watching Last Chance You. That's all I was doing. <laughs> that was my favorite thing to do because. It, it like it will pump me up, bro. Because I'm looking at other people like they got one shot, they're not finna miss, and that that continue just to like cycle in me. Like when I get my own shot, I'm not missing either. Like yeah. I have a better, like not a better chance. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, now, I know what you're saying. Like I know what you're saying. Like well, like in your field, like in yo, when you get to when when that when that chance come, like you can't yeah. hold, you can't exactly. And so, you know, why, why be so nonchalant about it? When yeah. they're, you know, they're on their actual last chance. Yeah, I, I have, I could have more opportunities and windows, but like, still, whenever I find one or find the route that I'm gonna take, I'm taking it. You know, like that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, I watched that show so many times, not knowing that was gonna come back up later. So with Operation Fifty Three, most of my knowledge from doing anything football related in the documentary came from that. Yes. You know I mean? that's wow. So I was. Yes. Just, yeah, like I wouldn't even expect to like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, just to get nice. it with Cliff and make the documentary, I already or had it in my head of like what to do. So now each year, I literally just watch Last Chance You before Combine Season starts again. So I'm about to start, 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 start crazy, crazy. Yeah. And I had a, another funny story for you because. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I was, I think, because there's something that you said that made me think about it. Which one? I'm trying to think back. Because you were just talking about. The last chance you, the guard city. Ah, you're talking about positions. Yeah. So, um, dang, I'm trying to think. Cause you were, hey, you want to know what's crazy, though? Uh, like, um, you know, like how your shot is? Like, all right, so he put me at running back for uh one play. I remember we was like. We was probably up by like a touchdown, maybe. We was playing against Elon. And um it's crazy because like the receiver coach had told me, because you know, I switched to running back that week or whatever. The receiver coach had told me he was like, Yeah, he finna put you in. Da, da, da. And he looking at me like, nigga, I've been living like cuz I've been living like this, low key. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want them to make it seem like a charity case or something like that. So I'm like, they low key tripping. So then boom, the next play happened. They say uh, the head coach say LeBorn, get in, da, 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 all that. So I'm running in. And the Eminem 
do not miss your chance to blow come on. I'm like, ah, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> like, this is crazy. So then I remember only had like one touch, one carry for one touchdown and like 20 yards. So I had got the ball, I scored or whatever. Everybody like hype and all this, this, this. But I'm like, bruh, I've been nice. Like I've been like that's like that's what like, they, like, they, had, they had no clue. That's what I'm saying. Like that, but that blows me about this whole politic thing, bro. Cause like I know I came late and all that. But cuz, like, I was committed to VTech coming out of high school. I went to the University of Buffalo. Like, it's all this crazy stuff. So it's like, I ain't, I can't, I can't be mad. Like, I ain't crashed out. I just, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 another reason I started YouTube, though. Hey, man, Pete, watch this. I'm, I'm about to make, I'm about to say something that I'm going to make videos about later. Uh-huh. But hear me out. Try to follow. All right. Right? So I saw the Joker yesterday, right? Yeah. And I, since... I'm a film person. I'm a film fanatic. I yeah. have a director mindset because I want to be a director. Yeah. Okay. So I've already been watching movies in the aspect of trying to understand if I was a director for this movie, what are the things that I need to pay attention to? Yeah. I'm not realizing that regular people don't give a crap about anything that goes on in my head when I'm watching a movie. Okay. Everybody else in the film scene understands that lingo you get it so with that bro i'm watching a joker okay the whole point of the newest joker that just came out was everyone wanted to see a joker movie mm. but no one wanted no one was really caring about arthur's mental health that's the joker yeah get it? so he didn't want to be the character joker anymore which he wasn't mm -hmm. and they were they were trying to like put words into his own mouth and say that he is like a split personality and all these different bro, it's crazy. But just the fact that like, he, you know, like he was a person before all that happened. Yeah. And no, one, no one noticed who he was or what he was doing or anything about him until he like killed a couple people. <laughs> so that's just the movie. Yeah. So after this, they're basically trying to make up their own story and make him say it. They're basically like, like painting a different picture and they're not letting him be him. So he doesn't want to be whoever they want him to be anymore. So he just, he's like, all right, I'm done. I just want to be myself again. So is that the movie? That's, that's like pretty much the movie, but why people didn't like it is because there was so much, there was like a very strange musical element to it. The whole point of that was to show you that, Whenever he's like happy, he thinks he thinks of it in music. He almost thinks of life in general musically. And people that do have actual like mental illnesses, music is such like a healing thing to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So people watching the movie are like, I don't like this. That's not the point. They made the movie for that fact. People that aren't paying attention to his actual mental health are the problem. And that's his life. So now think about football in general. Uh -huh. People didn't know you, right? People didn't know you. So at first, they might just see you off of impression. They might just, like you said, the charity case. They might, they might just hear different things or whatever. They're like, oh, this guy's just the new running back. Yeah. They don't know nothing about you. They don't know nothing about your past. Yeah. Until you go and show them who you actually are. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh my gosh, he's actually good. But it's like, where have y'all been? <laughs> the whole time. You know, it's like, ain't nothing new. Yeah, exactly. So then, what you and this most athletes deal with that already, where they yeah. got the ridiculous criticism, the rumors. Bro, yeah. it's like the, from the people on the outside looking in, it's like they don't understand like how how messed up like the the politicking and all that really is. Like, you really can't do nothing about it. Like do anything. if you don't say nothing, it's still like a chance that you might not never play. But if you do crash out and say something. Then it's like, oh, he has, he has a bad attitude. Like it's like they, it's like this whole process. Like if you're not mentally strong, it could like mm. kill you, like destroy you. Right? You know, what I'm saying? that's another reason I started the YouTube too. Like so, I go to practice, do what I had to do at practice, and I just come to the crib and I'd be like, damn. Like, I mean, I got the car, like, and I just genuinely like cars. And a lot of people like cars, but might not have the car that I had. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I just started recording it, started blowing up a little bit, started getting paid off of it, and now it's like, I don't cool. Like, I'm gonna just keep recording. <laughs> keep recording, bro. Don't even stop and don't crash out, bro. Cause like, what, bro? There, I don't even think I told you, but 
Uh, there's a, another, a whole nother story mm. that I'm going to tell when I get the chance to actually direct my own movie. Yeah. Okay. And so this story is basically me low key crashing out. <laughs> it was a valid crash out though. And the craziest part about it is when I crashed out, people weren't, they didn't know that I was there. They thought I was delirious. They they literally thought I was gone. Yeah. So it's genuine emotion of crash out. And you just watching people, watching you crash out, like, oh, he's just having like the episode. Just, <laughs> and so that makes you crash out even more. <laughs> Oh, it, was just, it was just wild to experience that. Yeah. And, and seeing people in my face that were either like friends or people that I saw every day and they were talking to me like real weird. Yeah. Like, like, why are you talking to me like that? I'm like, no, nah, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> like, like, tripping. You, you know what I'm saying? Like tripping. <laughs> bro. And so it was just like it was it was such a confusing time because there was nothing that I could do, nothing that I could say. I couldn't be, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how right I am because people believe something about me. That to them was the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like what I know now is just literally like, dude, you can't do nothing, bro. Just let, like, you just gotta let it happen. That's yeah. Like, like most of the time it's like, and then it's like, it's it. The, what blows me is like, they act like they don't know why you crack? That's the main <laughs> thing. Like, what you mean? Like, well, I'm acting like this. Like, I'm not playing. I'm not like I saw oh. multiple times. Like, it's just it's a whole bunch of people that yes. is like that's another. You're, thing, you're bro. Like, they don't shed enough light on that, bro. Like, and it's like it's one thing. It like a lot of people. They're, they're not outside, going to, bro. From the outside looking in, a lot of people think A B is crazy. And I know that's like a sensitive topic to like talk about, but it's like. They don't know what they was doing to him from the inside. Before, right? Yeah, like he, they probably was like pushing him to that limit. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. hey, hey, they, they do the, they do the same thing with Kanye, bro. And then they act like they don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying, bro? And and that's like that's exactly why you can't crash out because they it. they leave you with it. They ain't never gonna let you ever forget about it. Either. Exactly. And then they're not gonna like ever like oh hey, you you might have a few cases where they own up to like. Why they why why you crashed out like they understand and all, but most of the time it's like they just gonna try to make you look crazy, make you seem crazy. Bro, I can't I like, legitimately can't wait to tell it only because the people that think that I was not there, yeah, have zero clue. <laughs> because they in the in the moment they fully believe I was not there. So I'm literally looking at them like, what what do you want me to do? What, <laughs> what do you want me to do to let you know I'm here? Couldn't yeah. do anything. They don't think that I know what I'm saying. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to do what a creative does best. When they have something in their mind that they can't forget or they remember, they create from it. Bro, mm -hmm. I know beats, graphics, photos, video, going to be a movie director. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to put the story back out there for revenge. Yeah. I'm going to make a point out of it, especially about mental health. People that have been through stuff and you don't listen to them. Yeah. That's a huge thing, dog. Especially with football. People go through stuff. And like they're, they're, how are you finna tell somebody you want them to communicate, but then you don't listen? It's not make sense. Not no. And so, like with the media in general, especially how they do most athletes, yeah. I'm a cameraman. I know what goes on behind the scenes. I know what they try to pick at, the media tries to pick at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I know this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a part of that side of media. And this is why Listen, I don't want to be a nah. Oh this is why this is why we do genuine talks. Yeah, We're just having a combo right now, like just chilling. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And so it's just and that's I'm, like, and it blows me because it's like, bro, like the people on the outside really don't know. They just think like he's not doing what he's supposed to. He's not like they don't see the. 800 days, like the 365 days, multiple times that you did everything right, and then one little thing happened, and they trying to like uh, pinpoint that the reason why they haven't been, why you haven't been doing this or doing, like, bro, like, I've been doing everything right for two, three years straight. You know See, what I'm saying? Also, people, though, that's like you, changing the perspective about it, it's yeah. like realizing some people just want to see you that way on purpose. 
Yeah. Because they ain't got nothing else to say about you. Yeah. They do it on purpose. It's like you, you can't really hate them for it. That's just human nature sometimes. <laughs> I'll just walk away. Just walk away. That's all you can do. Hey, keep balling out. Hey, that's it. That's that's hey, <laughs> hey, that's it, bro, bro. That's all you can do. So I don't think I, I don't think I have any more questions for you, bro. We just keep rapping. Hey, did I show you my uh, clothing brand? Not yet. I was gonna ask about it. Yeah. yeah, bro, that's tough. Cause I was I was gonna ask about it. Yeah, yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Is it hard though? Let me see. What what it say? It say way flyer than you mentally. Where where the website at? Uh, I'm at the uh, it's like staydangerous.square.site. I think I'm gonna send it to you. I'm I'm gonna have it in the link. I probably could pull it up on my phone. Then say global on the hood. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. You, you need a Shopify store. I know I would, but like Shopify take a lot of money though, don't they? They take more money. Well, if you can find a shop that is like cheaper, let me know because I, I have designs of my own that I'm trying to like. All right, look, that's what I'm using. Stay, the Stay Dangerous, the, the site that I'm using, I think they only take like a small percentage, like probably like 2%, something crazy like that. That's why I'm using it. So you, how do you get the, you got the sample already? Like that's this that's this this is a sample or it's a bar? Bruh, look, check this out. This is how I'm gonna get rich. This is the million dollar heist plan, bro. <gasps> Don't look. Only only share what you can. Keep keep the. I keep got the you. Score. I got you. Check this out. <laughs> so you know how people go through manufacturers, text them overseas, all that. Mm-hmm. My my individual person persons, it's like two three people. That stitch them, they do it for free for one, and for two, they're on hand. Like this is on hand. Like I could go to that like thirty minutes away, and all my hoodies get made right there on hand. Like I'm not going through a manufacturer paying like what like thirty forty dollars. Like there, you know what I'm saying? Like I got my teammates uh, asking me um, how much to manufacture their hoodies. Like it's like. It's like that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not being the middleman going overseas like how everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? And so, what's this called? You said Stay Dangerous, but that's the website. Yeah, that's the website. Stay Dangerous. I, I, I like to be honest. I just thought you I just came found, up. With you just found a local manufacturer. Something like that. I didn't. Yeah, I, 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 I specify. We'll, 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 yeah, something like that. Like eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's. it's, 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 it's but like I, I kind of knew the newer, and you know what I'm saying. So, and then I got a, a business partner and all that. So that's tough, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I've been, I've been working on and off the field, grinding on and off the field. Bro, right, keep that up, like high key. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not even for the cameras. Like keep that up. Yeah. As for us, as in you know, African Americans, that's inspiring. Yeah. Uh, it's like. In the sports world in general, knowing that the nine to five is like feels like a jail cell. It's a jail cell. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> um, there's other things you could do to make money and still be chilling and bruh, that's why I'm doing all that, bro. Like people think I'm crazy. Like a lot of a lot of um a lot of my teammates think I'm crazy for doing all this stuff, but it's like bruh. It's crazy till it works. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, when I first started doing YouTube, everybody thought I was crazy. But it's like, I really didn't even have that crazy moment for too long because I blew up like the first three, four videos that I made. So it's like, I, I don't know. If yeah, that, okay, that is crazy. It is. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, that's just, it's just that's how it happened. Like, everybody, everybody got different stories. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just continue to keep writing. You know what I'm saying? Keep it going. It's like, and it's another thing, uh, after the interview of the game, I went crazy when they finally decided to um, play me, and I got five carries, 119 yards, two touchdowns. The, the interviewer asked me, they was like, so um, what's the ceiling to, I think he asked me, he was like, what's the ceiling to your football career or something? And I told him, I was like, it ain't no ceiling, and I'm not reaching for the moon. I'm reaching past the stars. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? Okay. I was, I was gonna ask that earlier. Like, what, what is? I wouldn't even say next steps, but just like, what are your hopes? Uh, of course. Uh, I'm trying to go to the NFL. Um, that's the main goal, to be honest. The biggest of the biggest. 
Um, I remember when I was in uh, at JUCO, the, uh, the Ottawa Red Blacks and uh, the CFL, they said that they was going to draft me because they had came to practice and I had ran a 40 time. I ran like a 4-3 and they clocked it. And um, they told me uh, they had drafted me if I stay in JUCO one more year and get drafted or whatever. But it's crazy because I had to go to JUCO not because I wasn't nice enough. It was because um, I wasn't qualified or I was qualified, but I didn't have two foreign languages, if that makes sense. Like I was qualified like to go to like, college but no college would accept my application because i didn't have two foreign languages and you mean Brazil. like you mean like the classes itself yeah like all right so look you got to have two foreign you languages. Spanish class. yeah i had spanish one or i could or i could have had like uh french two french one or something but or i could have i could have had spanish one or spanish two but i only had one spanish you know what i'm saying so um so they said uh even with their presidential services it's like it's nothing they could do like they can't even like gray shirt me like bring me in and then just get my grades good because it's like my grades good i just don't have the classes and you know it was COVID that year so it's like and see though, I cut, and that's another thing like life is about what you do after um anything in your life happened whether it's good or bad life is about the decision you make to do after life i could have just pouted and like said, man, I'm going to the streets. I'm going to I'm going to do what my family been doing, selling drugs, all this. I could have just took that route because you know the nine to five route that wasn't gonna be it. Um, so at that moment, I was like, dang, my brother Kalen, he told me he was like, bruh, like if you nice and you really think you cold like that. And my oldest brother was telling me he was like, bruh, you might have to go JUCO. I mean, it's the best JUCO in the nation. Da, 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 da. They number one right now. My oldest brother was like, you going to the number one Juco in the nation. It was number one at the time. It was like Tyreek Hill went there, all that, all this extra stuff. So I was like, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I, I guess I'll go. I guess I, you know what I'm saying? So um, I went there. I was like the number eight, number nine receiver in the nation. I could have went to Virginia Tech, but they wanted me to wait like another uh, semester or another um period it was like another period to come in like I could have came in um the summer July or I could have came in um I want to say like in like September or something like that or maybe December I don't know it was it was something I wasn't trying to wait though and then Buffalo told me I could get number zero they rolling out the red carpet on the uh visit and everything so I was like all right yeah I'm gonna just go to Buffalo like, I was just trying to hurry up and get out of Juco you know what I'm saying but um with that situation, like that's just I'm just a prime example of like what you choose to do after anything happens in life. Like just keep like it, it like eventually it's going like it's going like crack, like it's going it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like eventually you gonna win. Like you could take a thousand losses. All it take is for you to win one time, and you won. Like ye, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's on. It's popping. Like it's it's Never so back. huh? Never going back after that one. Oh, um, bro, like, never going back. One. For sure. I'm a, yeah, that's the main thing, for real, for real. Like, that's the advice I got to everybody, all the youngins. Like, you get knocked down seven times, get up eight. You get knocked down 100 times, get up 101. You know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, something's going to pop. Something's going to happen. Something's going to shape for you. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yes, sir. What's yes, the sir. point of quitting? Ain't no point at all. Exactly. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my dog. I'm about to FaceTime you real quick. Ah, way hit me. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, we're going.